on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Hey, this is Lisa with Lisa's Jungle Journey, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to explain what my purpose is here in Costa Rica and why this video is significant. So, uh, some of you may have noticed, uh, you've seen my previous video about the osteosarcoma that I had, the bone cancer as a kid growing up, and how it changed my life and how it's continued to change my life. And so from that, I'm just going to refer you back to that video, which I'll give a little link uh, here in this one. But I want to talk now about the reason that I'm here and what I want to do for other people that are finding themselves in similar situations. So in my experience through my life, what I've been really sad to see is how some people get stuck. And whether it's a traumatic event from whether it was cancer or whether it was some sort of a dissolution of a family unit, uh, whether it was a, a, a bad divorce, a death of a loved one, um, traumatic car accident or some life changing event, uh, some people were not as fortunate as I was in, in terms of having the knowing that everything was going to be okay and you're going to come out on top of it down the road. Um, some things can't be changed, obviously, but it doesn't mean your life is over. And I want this, this to be an opportunity for people who, who feel stuck, who feel that maybe their life is not ever going to be anything other than existing anymore. Uh, maybe they've been told that by someone. Maybe they've decided to believe that. Uh, it doesn't matter in what shape or form you find yourself right now. But there, not only is there hope, there's, there are things that you can do. And I want this retreat that I've been putting together, which I've called Survived to Thrive, to be an inspirational re-identification uh, for those people. And that, of course includes the accessory folks, folks that, you know, maybe they were going through a terminal illness with someone and they're left behind, you know? Um, there's so much more that, that we can do for people to, to inspire them and to, to kind of bring them back to who they are, help them touch bases with, with their identity again and find their purpose again, kind of dust off those dreams and do something that's going to bring them joy. So this retreat is going to be a holistic, customized uh, program where we're gonna pick you up from the airport. We're going to schedule, if there needs to be a COVID test, you're gonna have that. We're going to be doing this on a host property that's going to be in an absolutely beautiful nature location. And um, we're going to have all sorts of things customized to what it is the individual needs or the family unit, depending on how many people are coming at once. And that's something that we can talk about later. But this is going to involve lots of different holistic uh, providers, uh, energy healers, and um, even uh, counselors that can help with uh, the mending and uh, restoration of relationships. Uh, and relationships with yourself too. But we want it to be focused primarily on, on healing, healing the emotion, the um, spiritual of course, the physical. We're gonna have some uh, organic and vegetarian vegan chefs uh, that are going to be providing these meals for us. And if you have some food allergies or things like that, that's all gonna be taken into consideration. Um, so from start to finish, you'll also have different exercises, yoga, and Qigong, different things like that that you can participate in if you like. Of course, we're going to be right close to the beach, so there will be surfing if you choose to do that. And uh, kind of an assortment of things that you can choose from and also excursions. you got to have some fun. This is going to be probably a 10-day retreat, so it's a little bit extensive. But for doing all the things that we would like to do to help you, 
uh, we need to have more than a week. So I think 10 days is a, a perfect time and it's something for you to plan for. So the first one that we're going to shoot for is gonna be in the fall. You'll be getting more information as we go along. And um, let's see what else I wanted to say. Oh yeah, well, the excursions, of course, you, the fun you gotta have. So there'll be things like uh, maybe some boat tours, uh, bioluminescence, uh, which if you don't know what that is, you might wanna Google it because it's really cool. Um, and then of course there's, oh gosh, there's so many things you could do. Um, uh, whitewater rafting, uh, rappelling, zip lining, uh, all those sorts of things that Costa Rica offers. But I think that from start to finish, it's going to be absolutely wonderful and rewarding. And I hope that you will stay tuned because I'm going to be bringing more details as this gets closer to the big reveal. And if you're interested in it, please send me a comment um, or a message and let me know that you'd like to be placed on the list for... Um, a follow-up notification. Uh, you can of course watch the channel here and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified of new content including about these uh, activities that we're planning. And uh, so I think until the next one I'm going to let you go for now and wish you a Pura Vida. Have a beautiful day. Sometimes